you know, a lot of people always ask me, hey, Manny, why don't you talk about my team, bro? What, you know, you never talk about my team. I hear you talk about, you know, the Celtics. You talk about the Lakers. You talk about the Warriors. You talk about this. You talk about that. But you never talk about my teams, bro. Why is that? And, you know, the thing with me is, like, I don't mind talking about anything. I, as you know, I can talk on here all day, any day, all the time. But I'm not going to sit here and talk about bad teams when your team isn't doing anything. Because I'll ask, okay, yeah, I'll talk about your team. Who's your team? And you're like, yeah, the Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, bro, what, a, what the hell am I supposed to do with the Charlotte Hornets right now? Like, I don't even, as much as I love the Pistons, I don't even talk about the Pistons because they've been so bad. So it's hard for me to sit here and just have a legitimate conversation about a bad team that's going on in the NFL or the NBA, MLB, NHL. I'm not talking about a bad team because it's nothing to talk about. Clearly, they stink. And and what is it to brag about or boast about with this team? I mean, I know they're not going to be in the playoffs. I know they're not the best in the league. I know they're not creating any havoc in the league. But damn it, I mean, only thing we can compare is who is the worst right now and I'm not doing that because at, at the end of the day if we compare who's worse we're just saying which team is 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 it, it's sad bro it, that's a sad conversation and I can't do it I can't do it bro that's but you know that's that's just me that's just me maybe you care for bad teams maybe you like bad teams in the league maybe you find it more interesting so if, if that is the case you gotta let me know because <laughs> I can try I'll try bro but I don't know if it'll be nice. Y'all not going to like me off of that. Y'all going to be like, oh, bro, you always talking trash about my team, the Charlotte Hornets. You say we suck because you do. <laughs> so so it's like, I, you know, you, you got to let me know, bro. Even the Pistons. I, I talk about the Pistons, but when I talk about the Pistons on occasion, it ain't like I'm saying, oh, the Pistons still the best team in the world right now statistically and, and play-wise. No, I tell you, they stink and they're trash and Monty Williams needs to be fired and, and Kate is the only good thing in Detroit right now. Ivy is a little okay, but sometimes he's shaky too. Durin is okay, but... A lot of the rest of the people on the team, we need to run a five deep roster and just let five guys play 48 minutes because <laughs> it don't make sense. And I think Charlotte Hornets need to take after that same model because it don't make sense. And, and you know what? I'll give you a little love. I'll give you a little love while we're on the side note because that's what it's for. If you're the Charlotte Hornets and you're wondering why I don't talk about the Charlotte Hornets, it's because it's so damn dysfunctional over there. That team has no direction at all. I don't see them trading to get more picks, to bring in some more young talent. I don't see them elevating the the talent that they already have on there. It's a lot of injuries going on over there. So LaMelo isn't playing. That takes away some hype of what I possibly could talk about with the Charlotte Hornets right now. They don't win ball games. So I'm damn sure not about to talk about how they lose in every single game. So you tell me, what is it for me to talk about with the Charlotte Hornets outside of the front office being bad, um, the the players actually playing to a a subpar skill level, um, injuries on the Charlotte Hornets? I I don't know what else it is to talk about. But anyway, look, I'll leave it to you. (laughs) If if it's something I'm missing, maybe your team isn't the Hornets. Maybe it's the Spurs with Wimby. And Wimby did his thing the other night. He balled out. I mean, they ended up pulling out a close game over OKC, who I think is overrated, which I'll touch on later on in the show. Uh, Sneak peek. But, I mean, they they beat the the Thunder, but ultimately they still only won 12 games this entire season. So it's nothing to be hype about. So you see where I'm at a crossroad, right? After that, I I have nothing else to talk about with the San Antonio Spurs. But look, I don't know. Maybe give me some information. Ask me some questions. Tell me something about your team that I'm not catching, whether they're good or no, whether they're bad. If if they're bad, maybe your your true team is a bad team right now. Maybe they're the Portland Trailblazers. (laughs) I don't know. Who knows? But uh, anyway, go ahead. Shoot me a call. 219-413-9405. And we will play your take back on our next episode. 